Hey mom togs, it's Elizabeth here with Mommy's Gonna Snap and welcome to Motivation Mondays. I'm so excited, it's Monday! What? Do you hear them groaning? Do you hear that? Ah, oh, Mondays do not suck. Mondays have a bad reputation, but trust me, Mondays are the best day of the week. Why? Because it's the start of a new week. You get to start fresh every week on Monday. And that's awesome. That's like a gift right there. Okay? So, with that in mind, I want you to commit this Monday to set, set some goals. Okay? I don't want your goal for today to be that you're going to pull out your camera and you're going to take a picture because that's so important. If you don't start setting yourself up to practice and start making that time to practice, you're going to stunt your growth. You need to be practicing a couple times a week, if not every day. You know, I know that as moms, our schedules are crazy and hectic, but you have to set aside that time if you want to grow. So today, I want you to commit to it, and I want you to post your picture in the Facebook group underneath of this video post so that we can share and celebrate together, okay? It's a big deal. Taking one picture a day is a huge accomplishment. Don't minimize the small accomplishments because they matter. All those teeny tiny little accomplishments add up to an overall sense and feeling of success. And they're gonna add up to all this growth that we're trying to achieve, okay? So commit to that this week. Please, please commit to that. Today, you're gonna to take a picture, and this week, you're gonna practice at least once or twice more, okay? So today, one. The rest of this week, one or two more. And, you know, I'm giving all these little challenges and stuff in the group and the Thursday theme. So, you know, you're going to have some extra encouragement and motivation and things to, to do to guide you. So it's really going to take the guesswork out of it for you. You're, all you have to do is pull out your picture and practice. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Aurelia is going to be our model today. Now, I don't want you to worry about what you're shooting with. I know a lot of people can get hung up on the, I don't have the big fancy gear, so I can't do this thing. Um, I'm gonna show you that uh, you don't need the big fancy gear. Okay, this is, I kinda call this my family vacation. <laughs> family vacation camera now. Um, this is my Nikon D5300. It's about $400 just for the body part on Amazon, so it's very affordable. And the lens on it um, is a, just a Nikon 35 millimeter DX lens. It is not one of the gold ring lenses, so it's not one of the more expensive ones. I believe this runs around $200 to $250 on Amazon. So for the whole setup, you're looking at, you know, $650 bucks worth of camera gear in my hand right now. So, it's this... <laughs> This is really affordable, and it don't you? It doesn't weigh much at all. But don't what? I think she's getting sneaky. This could go badly. <laughs> oh, sweet, sweet, sweet. I want your button for a minute. What's your button? What's your button? Um, don't let the tiny size, because it is way smaller compared to my 750. So don't let the size or the weight fool you. This camera has an amazing processor in it. It's really great in low light. If you're looking for a solid, affordable, beginning photographer career camera, I highly recommend this. And a 35 millimeter lens is great. It's great for indoor use. They're great in low light. Um, they take really, really great, sharp, nice portraits. You will love the 35 millimeter lens. It's a prime lens, it does not zoom. So you move in and out and adjust your focus. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a portrait of our lovely model here, sitting in that chair over there, um, with my 5300 and the 35 milliliter lens, and then I'm going to put this lens on my big bad boy D750, and we're going to take that same exact picture, same light, and everything. And then I will be sharing both pictures side by side in Photoshop straight out of camera. I'm not going to do any editing to them. Um, and you're going to see what I mean. You don't have to have the big fancy equipment. Okay. So no excuses. No excuses. Okay. Take a picture today. Post it in the group. 
See you guys there. All right, Mom Togs, here we are in Photoshop now, and I've gone ahead and loaded up the two images, one from the D5300 and one from the D750. Can you tell which is which? I bet not. Um, both of these photos are great quality photos. Um, both of them, you know, tone, color is great in both of them. Um, both of them are reading the light really well and then have interpreted the light well. The differences that you will see in these photos really don't come from the camera itself. Um, in this photo, she's got this beautiful pop of light on her face because her face is um, brought forward and she's getting that nice direct light coming in at her from, there's a door over here, big glass door, back window. And um, she's, you know, sitting really cute. She's like little baby Marie Antoinette in her little outfit that her grandma made her. So my kids are so spoiled. It's great. They have an awesome grandma. Uh, anyway, and, and also needs to be straightened a little bit. You can see the horizon with the baseboard back here. Um, there's a little bit of a tilt. And I would also just get rid of that because it's distracting and ugly. So uh, th those are issues with this photo that, um, you know, that's really not the camera's problem, the tilt. That was a uh, mommy's laying on the floor floor and trying to take a photo in two seconds of a baby <laughs> problem. Um, in this photo, we don't have as much light on her face because she's leaning her head back. The light's getting cut off by the chair a little bit. So we don't get that. Um, refreshing bright pop of light on her face you know and that's that happens with babies they're gonna do what they're gonna do it's their own program again we've got this tilt going on back here because I was just trying to bust this out in two minutes um, and then we've got some motion blur, blur excuse me on her feet because she was kicking and my shutter speed was only one one twenty-fifth of a second so um, it wasn't fast enough to compensate for the little baby wiggles here. And I picked these two photos um, to show you as comparison because she's in a very similar position and chair. Um, the other difference that you're gonna notice in these photos, and this does have to do with the cameras, um, is I sat in the exact same spot on the floor when I took both of these pictures. So <clears throat> you'll notice that um, this ch this chair, um, it's not as wide of a shot on in this picture. And this shot, you can see, you know, the whole bottom of the chair and some of the floor um, that you don't see in this picture. And that does have to do with the camera. Um, it has to do with the fact that I was using a not a full frame lens on a full frame camera, and so. Um, it makes the frame of the picture and what the camera sees a little weird. And in, in fact, when I put the 35 millimeter on my um, on my full frame camera, I had to actually autofocus because, or not autofocus, manual focus because because the the mechanics are are different. You know, it's it's a uh, that 35 millimeter is a lens that is made to be a true 35 millimeter on the crop sensor camera and not on the full frame. So that was, that was a little interesting, but didn't hurt because, hey, I got it nice and focused. Might be a little soft on her eyes, but that's okay. So as you can see, you can take a great, 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 great photo um, with great big fancy equipment or with not so great, fancy, more affordable equipment. So there's really no excuse to really pull out your camera, start practicing. I hope that this really, really encourages you to, to see this. Well, I really want to start seeing more of your guys' work in the group. Please post, please share. Let's learn, grow, and be inspired together. That's all I have for you guys today. I will drop my photo settings um, with the final edit of the picture. I think I'm going to edit this one because I just love the light on her face and um, show you what I would do with it. And uh, that will be it for Monday. If you guys have um, any requests for Monday motivation, something that you feel like would help you um, to be inspired, to help your week 
flow smoothly, um, please put it in the comments, make suggestions. I'm all about making this group tailored to what you guys need and what you guys want, okay? So do that. I'll see you in the Facebook group, www.facebook.com slash groups slash mommy's gonna snap. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And you'll stay up to la latest and greatest information with Mommy's Gonna Snap. And tomorrow, we're gonna have tips and tricks. I'm excited for tomorrow. Yay, but practice today, please. All right, that's all for today. You guys have a great one.